Tennessee Valley firefighters learned some new techniques to help save lives this weekend. The Southeast Tennessee Advanced Extrication Class provided on-site training through real-life scenarios. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell takes us inside the training that could have helped save your life in a serious crash. This is the first advanced extrication class Chattanooga has held in years. And with so many serious crashes and recent tragedies, the goal is for rescue to become faster and more efficient. We've let the guys know up front that this is not going to be an easy class, that everybody's going to uh, be tired when they leave. Firefighters cut through about 40 cars, strategically rescuing victims. It's all part of the Southeast Tennessee Advanced Extrication two-day class. It took three years for Red Bank Fire Lieutenant Eddie Isles to make this possible. It's just showing different techniques that they can take back to their community to be able to, uh, to help with uh, any kind of a vehicle accident that may have entrapment in it. Teams are split up throughout six stations with six different scenarios, like overturned cars, a car stuck under a tractor trailer, and a bus accident. After the Woodmore bus crash that killed six students, Isle says efficient school bus rescue is important. Being able to, to cut, see the construction on the inside, see how they're designed, and that gives us a better idea on how we would be able to attack a situation when, uh, when we do have a wreck or something. But what if this bus is laying on its side? If it's laying on its side and it's flat right out. A spokesperson for Hamilton County Emergency Services says extrications are more common in highway crashes because of the speed cars travel. According to Isles, they are usually fatal. You may think that it's a simple accident and then get there and it's a little bit more advanced than what you think. He says it's why this training is helpful, preparing firefighters for the hard work ahead. It's stressful, you know, mind. It's also stressful on the body because the tools that we use are not, not light at all. They're, they're, they're really heavy, so, you know, it, it takes a toll mentally and physically on you. Organizers say they're working to bring the class back next year for more firefighters to train. In Chattanooga, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.